Happy New Year, everyone. It's Tannis with h and Sun Supply. I'm so excited to be on today. This is my first live video of 2021, and I'm super excited to get the new year started. This week, I'm easing into my projects. I've got a lot of great things in the works, a lot of good ideas, and this week is kind of a follow-up project from the one I did right before Christmas, the one that was an epic fail with heat transfer on wood. And so, if you watched, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for not being so brutal to me, but I am human and I do fail on my videos from time to time. And that's really what the goal, not the goal is to fail, but my goal in doing these videos is to show everyone different ideas and to also show you that it's okay to make mistakes and show you what not to do and what to do. So, uh, last time, it was the week before Christmas, and I did my video on a piece of wood such as this, and I did heat transfer on it, and it was a total fail. I couldn't get it to stick. I kept applying more pressure. I was getting panicked because I was on a live video. I was getting embarrassed, and it hit me after the video, like that evening or the next day, I don't remember. I'm like, ugh. Oh, Gosh, you crazy girl. It was a cold peel. The heat transfer I was using was cold peel. And I was trying to peel it right away because that's what I'm used to. I'm used to doing more of the Caesar Easy Weed or the Caesar Glitter, which is a um, hot or warm peel. And I was getting in a hurry because I was on video and I didn't read the instructions properly. So, it was a fail. So, my lesson to you is always read the heat instructions and make sure that you're doing everything that Caesar recommends. So, what I used last week was the Caesar Metal and the Caesar Holographic. This week for my design, I am only going to use the Caesar Holographic because that was kind of the design I had. So, we're going to do these cute little hearts for Valentine's. Um, I have several different projects in my hat that I'm working on ideas for for Valentine's Day. And so again, this week we're going to do the same type of project. It's heat transfer on wood. This piece of wood is a 12 by 12. Um, this will show backwards because my... Um, my phone is flipped so I can see your comments, but you can get these at Hobby Lobby. They are where the canvases are. It's called Master's Touch. Um, the price is $9.99. I know I did not give that for it. I either used my 40% coupon or I waited for them to go on sale 50% off. So if the canvases show in their ad that they are um, on sale that week, then the canvas and these boards will be on sale too. Now, Side note, take note right here where it says versatile, versatile, ultra smooth finish. I highly recommend if you buy these to pay attention to that because I've gotten them before where it was kind of textured and the heat transfer or the outdoor vinyl didn't want to stick very well. So you want to make sure that you get the ultra smooth finish. I'm going to catch my comments right quick. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Um, these are some of my favorite earrings. And thank you for the compliment on my jacket pullover. I really appreciate it. This is one of my favorites. It's warm. It's cold. It started snowing earlier. We are in western Kentucky. Um, so it is kind of a typical January day. So anyhow, uh, these are from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to remove all of the, the plastic here. So this one here comes, it's finished on the front. It is very smooth. It's already sanded, painted, it's ready to go. This is what the back looks like. You could easily take a staple gun and staple ribbon to the back. And um, so this is what we're going to apply our heat transfer today. So what we're using is the Caesar Holographic. 
It is 320 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds and it is a code peel. So that is the key is the code peel. Don't make the mistake I made last time of getting in a hurry and peeling it. So I'm going to flip my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Hello, Artist Spreak. Thank you for joining. Okay. So my heat press, I've used since we did the last video. And I, I did a show. So I'm going to have to raise my platen because I want a firm pressure on my wood. And if I have it like this, as if I was doing a shirt, I'm not going to get a good press because look, it's not even going to close. So I got to raise that platen pretty far. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my Teflon sheet on top. That way, if there is anything on that platen, it doesn't stick to... And I'm just kind of eyeballing it to make sure that it's going down there well. And it's not going to clamp because it's, you know, it's too thick to clamp. So I'm going to have to hold it down with lots of pressure. And last week I thought maybe that was what, was, what the problem was, but I really don't. And we're going to see if I have another epic fail. So I got my platen raised on my heat press. You could also do this with a home iron if you wanted. Um... So I've got two colors here. It's kind of hard to tell. These do kind of look the same, but there are two colors. I chose to do two pinks. This is, um, I think, called hot pink. And this one is called light pink. I'm going to start with the outside. Let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with the outside um, color or outside pattern because see these go inside each other like this. This is how they're going to go. I'm going to start with the outside so it'll be easier to tell if I have it centered. I'm going to use my ruler here just to kind of make sure that it's somewhat straight. And it is kind of hard to tell if it's straight because these two up here, these two circles, which is what I would go off of, are not the same size. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because none of them are really the same size. I'm actually going to go up a little bit because I want it to be more center. truth. So I'm going to put this in my heat press. I've raised my platen so I can get a firm um, press. I'm still going to use my Teflon sheet and I'm going to press and I'm going to hold it down as hard as I can for 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm doing two layers, so I don't want to press the first layer the full amount. 
because when I press the second layer on top, it's going to give the first layer double heat and we don't want that. So I'm going to remove it from the heat press so it'll cool off. So that's going to take a few seconds. And while we're waiting for that to cool off, see if anyone has any questions. Uh, I hope everyone had a good uh, Christmas, um, good holiday, good time off. For me, it was nice having uh, two four-day weekends. I really enjoyed the relaxation, but I really got tired of sitting in the house. I'm not really a set-in-the-house kind of person. I'm on the go a lot. It was great to have the time, but I definitely was glad to get back into a routine. So, uh, tell me how you guys um, spent your holidays. I think it's always interesting to see what people do on their time off and during the holidays. Uh, we have some um, things in the pipeline for 2021. I am excited to get the new year started. I can't believe it's already into a new year. Um, let's see, this is still fairly warm. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it against the wall, which is kind of cold. And hopefully that will pull some of the heat out. So I'm just going to rub it against the wall. And hopefully that can pull some of the heat out. It's still fairly warm, which it is on wood, and I'm pretty sure wood will conduct heat. So, um, Yolanda says she's at home getting orders finished is how I spent your her holidays. Yes, I did some extra crafting. I made some wreaths. I did some baking. Um played board games with my family, watched tons of TV and movies. I probably took a few naps. You, uh, let's see, you just don't even realize what needs to be done until you're actually home. And so I took my Christmas stuff down the weekend of New Year's. And that was a chore in itself because I put up extra. Um, it's Taken down is not near as fun as putting it up. Um, that is my opinion. I always try to get it organized for the next year, but it's always a mess. So, so this is pretty cool now. It's cooled off quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and hope that it sticks and it has. had that middle one has not stuck all right I'm gonna apply just a little bit more heat because I feel like maybe I didn't get enough pressure I guess what I could do is set this outside because it is super cold out there, but I'm not going to do that. So I don't think it was cooled off enough. I am going to let that cool off. I'm going to try to put it against something that's cold to pull the, the, um, the heat out of it. So the key here is that it is a cold peel.
Yes, Yolanda, it is a code peel. So I think that I did not give it enough time because it still feels a little warm. I'm gonna give it a little shake shake, a little fanning. See if I can't cool it off. Um, the wood, you know, when you're doing a shirt, that'll cool off much faster than a piece of wood. So I think that might be the key. It is starting to cool off quite a bit just by fanning it. So I'm just fanning it here, getting it to cool off. The outside layer or the outside design, whoops. It was peeling off fine, but this in the inside heart is was not. Let's see here. Oh boy. middle is just giving me trouble. Now I can peel it that way. It's like it's just not sticking or it's not releasing. And I even tested this somewhat. Now I've done this before with glitter and I said, no, I'm going to do glitter because I know it works. But then I was like, no, I'm going to try to do this holographic because I want to redeem myself with the failed video from last time. <laughs> oh goodness. But hey, I just, I've learned that my videos are not going to be perfect. And I have to learn to just roll with it. And then that way you guys can see what to do. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of folding this back and just walking these across, like walking it across. Just peeling those one by one so that they're on there. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some more heat. And I, what might be happening is this carrier might be wrinkling up and not allowing a good firm pressure. For some reason, the outside circles, they stuck just fine. These inside ones are giving me trouble. Okay, so they're on there. And I'm going to put a Teflon sheet on top. I don't want any scorching. And I'm going to apply about five seconds of really firm pressure. Any of them that are kind of look like they might have a bubble or they're not laying down good I'm just running my thumb across them but be careful because it's hot the wood is hot I'm gonna fan that and see if I can get it to cool off and then we're gonna do the second layer and hopefully we won't have as much
much trouble. See, Heather says she has craft fills or aggravations every day. Yes, usually I can make, um, usually I can make anything work, but um, sometimes not. David suggests needing a cushion or a pillow to put extra pressure in the middle. That's a good idea, David, but this, this is solid wood. Um, it's pretty thick and there's no like bending or giving for that. So I'm really not sure that that would do the trick. Now, if I was doing a canvas that was a little softer, then I think that that would definitely be a great idea. And I'm going to cut around the edge of this heart because if I lay it down like this, the line of the mylar is gonna get into that first layer and I don't want that because when I heat that, it's gonna show that indentation. So I'm just cutting around the outside edge of this design. I lost a couple of them. All right. Wow, I had some of these come up. So they really weren't stuck that good. So I guess we can add this one to another fail because I'm just not getting it to work right. I have used glitter several times on wood and even metal. And this is totally giving me a fit. All right, I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this will take this time. Because if not, I've just showed you guys how to fail at a project twice. So that is really hot. And I'm gonna fan it to try to get the heat out. Try to get it to cool off faster. So be careful whenever you're doing 
metal or wood because when you pull that off the heat press it is extremely hot and I would not want you to burn yourself. So if you guys decide to try this, please share what you do. I love to see um, customers' projects, and I love to see how they incorporate our products into their crafts or into their, um, their clients' projects, you know, like, so like if they have a t-shirt shop, their t-shirts that they sell to their customers. I love to see finished stuff from our customers. So I was able to peel that off. It did cool off. And what do you think? It's pretty cute, huh? I was able to salvage it. Um, I think the key would be cold peel and plenty of pressure. Make sure that you're holding that heat press down really, really hard. And also, if you're using a home iron, then uh, make sure that you're applying tons of pressure. I think it's really cute. What do you guys think? I'm glad I was able to salvage it. And it wasn't a total fail. Now you could mix media, so you could do the holographic with the glitter, with the metal, you know, you can mix all different ones um, to make a design. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate your feedback, whether it's um, constructive or positive. I really appreciate your support. This was our finished project. Just to recap, it is heat transfer Caesar holographic on a piece of finished wood. So if you have questions, you can comment those below in the comments or you can also send us an email. Um, I do a live video every Thursday at three o'clock central, uh, showing you different things that you can do with the items that we sell. And if you have any ideas for those videos, please let us know because I love um, to do things that customers request. Thank you guys. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Beth. I think it looks really cute and it is something different that you can do um, with heat transfer. So as long as your um, surface will accept the heat, then generally it will stick as long as you follow the heat instructions. Thank you everyone for joining. Uh, see you next week. We supply, you create.